just trying to get these wires all situated, man. This is how they all are. I'm going to throw them in this loom and get the wiping everything down. That's the carburetor that I rebuild. And finally got some little time <clears throat> to work on the car right now. Ain't doing too much. Got this whole paved area to myself because my wife done moved her car out the way. So I got plenty of space back here. Nice and quiet. Nobody, no interruptions. We go finish work. Alright, so I'm kind of stuck right now. That I don't know what I did with all those valve cover bolts that I painted. I gotta go to the yard and get a bunch of valve cover bolts. These are the bolts for the top of the carburetor. Those bolts are not in there. I don't know what I did with the small pump bolts. And I probably need something else. Like, it's just little miscellaneous things. I still gotta put that wire. I gotta take that out and put that wire back and connect these, cut these wires and connect them back on there. Like, I don't even know what that's for, but I just gotta go to the yard to get a bunch of bolts and clean them up because when we moved, I don't know what the hell I did with all these bolts to this stuff, so. Back out here on this west side, man. It's a photo Bonneville. I'm gonna grab some parts for my man, 86 Bonnie boy. He want the opera lights and the trunk popper. And I'm gonna hook him up with a brake light. So I'm gonna finish working on this. I looked at this car already, but they didn't have the, um, the carburetor wasn't on it, so. This thing is destroyed. You know, point of me wasting my time over here. Man, they just set up here and took the down Cadillac out of here, man. So now I'm just finna have to go on and get what I can off this fucking cutlass. There go the three bolts for my that pulley right there in the front. So that's a good thing. And still got the valve covers on here. This is why I need to upgrade my tools, man, because this Craftman thing is too big. This thing's strong as hell, though. It'll take off any boat, really, that I touch with it, but this thing I got from the pawn shop, it was like 40 bucks, and it's way more smaller, but the thing is, the piece doesn't stay on the end of it as, as good, but it can get into small ass areas like this and that's what I like I might go buy this too I might go buy this too brand new because it can get in them small spaces like that I'll try to get me a Milwaukee tool or something loud as hell man another craft ain't gonna blow these damn boats off of here I dropped the plate on and just screw it in with the same two bolts I took out the Camaro. I ain't have to cut nothing. Alright, so I finally got my bow cover bolts in. I hooked up this hose right there and I repaired the wires right up in there. Everything is basically done on this side. What I'm working on now is putting this small pump right here so I guess the Makita one for today because this thing can go places that the craftsman can't so that's the Makita one today we am gonna finish working on this all right I got the small pump the pulley back on hook this AC thing back up even though the damn AC don't work all the valve cover bolts is on everything's done on this side I'm just working my way around well, we're gonna get back together trying to get some little work done today got my parts painted up ready to go on I'm working on the other side of the car today get this valve cover get the bolts all in and situate all these vacuum lines I'm gonna finish work. I'm gonna have to 
wipe everything back down because I'm messing the valve covers up, putting all this doggone oil or whatever everywhere. But I'm getting all the parts on. Got to try to figure out how to get these vacuum lines all back together. I took a few pictures, but not too many. So as I'm putting the bolts on, the paint's stripping off on them anyway. So off of the bolts. Let me go and finish working. What I'm doing now is, like I said, I still got to wipe everything down, but it's basically like I left everything plugged up to a point where I kind of can figure out where everything goes. Like little stuff like this is only going to plug in one way. Like this plugs up in this box over here. And I got to do the vacuum lines. All these lines, I think, go to the carburetor and there's some more over there. So what I'm going to do now is just bolt the carburetor down and this vacuum line certain time after i do that this car should be started up maybe today or definitely tomorrow because i don't think i had no gas in here but what i'm doing now i just spray some little awesome on a towel a paper towel and just wiping it down a little bit it'll come clear i don't know if you can actually use purple power to do this and that shit might strip the paint off of it but i'll do a final wipe down wipe all these vacuum lines down I gotta find the two back bolts to the carburetor now because I don't know where they at. So let me go and finish working. I'll wipe the EGR down too a little bit. They're awesome. Shit works miracles. So I was wondering what was going on with this stuff back here. How was this box sitting inside of here? And you see how I have the valve cover bolt is holding this on? This piece right here should be inside. Up there and then the box sit on top of that so like I said I really didn't unplug a lot so I can easily put it back together but it just takes some time and patience now and I'm just still learning as I go that's why I choose to work on this little 307 engine like this let me learn how to work on the engines first then we'll get the the bigger upgrades because this is my first time ever doing this so you just gotta bear with me I wish I would have took more pictures when I was taking this stuff apart because I have this vacuum line right here and it's a port that's down there. This thing right here. I don't know what the hell. How did that port plug up? But I came over here and I think I found it because my diagram is still right here. And I want to say that that port is this thing right here in the back. But it's two holes inside it. I just got to take my time and figure it out because in that top port, it goes over here, it comes to that T, that T is right here, and then that line goes to the front port on that carburetor. Where's that T at? That go that T right there. And that's that first line on the carburetor. So, this is gonna help me out a lot because I didn't take a lot of pictures. So let me just go and finish working. Just take my time to figure it out. This is why that thing is important. I'm glad it's still on the car. Because if you can see it, the line in the bottom goes down and that T fitting. I'm glad I didn't unplug everything. The T fitting goes to the T, swings all around to that first port on that carburetor. So that that vacuum diagram in front of the car is what just saved me with, with routing that. And this goes it can only go one place. It's right here inside the box. So everything is almost done on this side. But that diagram saved me. Okay, that goes in there. That sits right there. And then again, going back to the diagram, this first port. I'm so glad I didn't unplug a lot. It's so easy to plug this stuff up when you just look at that diagram. Let me figure out how I set this thing inside of there. Then I know it was a plug that was right here. It was like a red plug. I kept remembering that. And I thought I saw it on the other side of the car somewhere. It was a red ass plug. What the hell is that thing got? All right, let me finish working on this. Okay, so for this thing, it's kind of throwing me off, but I found the red plug to it, but it was a vacuum hose 
that had most of this stuff go to the front of the carburetor. It was a vacuum hose that had like this black cloth thing on it that I need to find because that's the thing, that's the vacuum hose that plugs up inside of that thing and I have no idea where it's at. It plugs up right here and this thing is what I'm talking about. And that go to the electrical connection for it. And then I put in the wire loom, this the connection for the throttle position sensor and that other sensor that's over on the top of here, right here. So that's that's tucked in. But let me find that line because I all I remember is I looked at my pictures it had a black piece of cloth on it. So let me find that right quick. Everything looking good though, man. I just got to put the sensors put the sensors in. I need to find the bolts to the back of this um carburetor right here so I can hook up the linkage and stuff. Find the pin. I don't know where that pin at either, but I think I'm going to wrap this up for today cuz it was pretty easy though getting I'm getting close man I don't even know what else to say man I'm getting there